Hey YouTube, welcome back to the Old Park Garage. Well, I'm feeling real accomplished now because uh, this is going to be a, another video about my truck that I'm restoring, my 63. I feel very accomplished. Yep. And I tell you what, being sick is not good, but once you get out of it and you get back into it, hell yeah. So anyways, go ahead and Door panels are done. Check that off. Two of the, the two cows are done. Check that off. And now accomplished is the tailgate. It's ready for primer and paint. So uh, let me get the camera and show you what I've done. Back to working on my 63. And today what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and get the door panel. I've already stripped the paint and stuff off of it, and I'm going to go ahead and fill in the dents and crevices and stuff and get it all smoothed out and everything ready for the primer. Okay? Go ahead and do it. Okay, now that our bondo is dried up, I'm going to go ahead and hit it up with some 180, smooth it out, and then hit it up with some 220, and it should be ready for primer. So I made a big mistake, and I left my tailgate outside of the garage in the rain, and this is what happened. It got all rusted. So now I'm having to go ahead and sand it back down again, but that's okay. I'll be primering it here in the next couple of days. So I already got this cleaned up. And what I'm going to be doing is here on the seam, on both ends, once I get it cleaned up really good and everything, and then like over here, on this, like on these corners, where there's an opening in the seam where both the skins and the framing and all that meet I'm going to go ahead and fill that in. I'm going to smooth it all out I don't want no seams or anything but first I got to get it clean all this rust off of there again because that was a dipshit and left it outside and, and it rained on us so anyways get back to the sanding and the cleaning I'm halfway there. I'm at, I'm at the R, which is halfway. You know, the Chevrolet. 
So halfway there, I'll be done before the night. Okay, looks a little rough right now, but as soon as I get the sand in that bondo down, those seams are going to disappear. Yep, and it'll all be like one solid piece. It is done. 
ready for primer and paint and as you can see no seams I went ahead and filled in all the seams okay I don't know if you, the camera will show it to you completely but there's no seams to separate the, the two skins that make the tailgate I filled in all the cracks in the corners okay there'll be video before this so you can see what I mean and here I got the door panels all right and they're also ready for paint and primer the cowls they're primered ready for sealer or just paint I don't think it needs sealer it seems pretty good so anyways I'm feeling accomplished finally getting back into finishing my truck all right a little tight in this garage but anyways this was a big big project for me to get done because this thing was beat up and I could not it was easier to just fix it than to try to afford to buy a new one but it is done and man was that a pain in the butt and now that it's done now it's time to start on this part start getting that hood and the doors and the cab and all that start getting that done so anyways like I said now I just gotta get these primered up and All right, guys, so we're all done primering. I got about a good uh, three back-to-back -back coats on it. Okay, no, it's not perfect. There's a couple of little imperfections, like some air holes right there that I need to fix. A drip off the gun. You know, these came out okay. There's a... <clears throat> couple of little imperfections but it's not gonna hurt nothing nothing a little bit of soft sanding can do but anyways that's my door panels okay and there is one spot right here 
where I accidentally dropped the hose on it. But like I said, that's just the first sanding so that I can find imperfections and sand it down, maybe add some Bondo and stuff. Okay. But anyways, there's the door panels. Okay. And this is the tailgate. Now the tailgate, I'm not doing, on, on, on the door panels and the tailgate, I'm not doing the backside because first of all I ran out of primer and I'm going to do more of a sealer type primer because it's just going to be uh, undercoating. I'm going to do, because the whole bed on the inside is going to be uh, a bed liner. So the back end of the tailgate is going to be bed liner. And I'm going to do some of the undercoating behind the door panels for like soundproofing. Okay. So I'm not even going to sweat it. But anyways, this is the tailgate. All right. And being that it's the original tailgate, um, you know, instead of buying a brand new one without all fancy, you know, nice and smooth, there is some imperfections. There's a few bumps and all that that I'm not a professional, so I tried my best. But I'm going to try a little bit harder next time once I get it all sanded down. But what I wanted to really show you guys was the no seams. See that? There's no seams in between the skins. Like I showed you in the prior, in the earlier video, you know, there's no, uh, uh, like right here in the corners, you can see where the, the top skin and the bottom skin are set, you know, met. They were just spot welded. So I went ahead and I filled those in with some filler. Let's see, like here, there should be a seam running along there, and there should be a seam running along there, but. I went ahead and filled them in. Corners, they're nice and smooth. Makes it look a lot nicer. You know, makes it look like one piece. And again, you know, like on the lettering, there's some of these that I need to tap out. That I didn't see. They didn't stand out until you primered it. And that's the good thing about primering, is you can find the big imperfections and stuff. Like all these, I need to tap all this out. You know, try to get it as smooth as possible. You know, so obviously I'm not done yet. But all in all, I, I'm, I'm satisfied. I like the way it looks. I think it's going to be good. It's going to be all right. Here I need to even it out. Looks like I got a little bit too high right here. I need to sand that down some. But, uh, you know, for now, this is my very first registration. Uh, restoration. I'm not a professional. I don't claim to be. I'm just enjoying my retirement and doing the best I can. And as long as my truck looks clean, I don't care. It, this, this pleases me, even the way it is just now. Because of how far I've gotten from the way it looked from the beginning. So, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I hope you guys can Subscribe and follow me for the next part, which would be the hood and the door. I think I'm going to work on the doors next, get all that cancer and everything. This, what I'm going to do is this old fender here that I took out, I went ahead and replaced it because you see this big old gouge? It's literally split in half right there. And instead of trying to fix it, I just went ahead and bought an aftermarket. And I'm going to use this one as spare metal to patch up to cut patches out to replace the cancer and stuff on the doors so i can re recycle that that metal mm -hmm. but anyways this one's going to be a little tough one here so it's pretty dented but all in all like i said done with this for now i'm gonna let it set for a couple days i gotta order some more primer and then I, I gotta block it and reprimer once I fix the little imperfections that I feel that need to be done. So until next time, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you guys continue to follow me and appreciate your guys' support. 
Have a good day and God bless.